Okay, this video tutorial will look at a couple of motion blocks and um, look at how we can make our sprite characters move around the screen. So I'm in my create uh, project mode and I've clicked into my motions tab where it drops down a list of all the different um, motion blocks that I can play around with. The first one that I want to show you is um, this particular uh, motion block here which is the go to X and Y coordinates and just to make this exercise a little bit easier to understand I'll just change my backdrop to show you um, the different positioning that you have within um, Scratch. So where the, um, the cat is at the moment it's uh, the positioning is all based on the X which is the line going across um, the horizontal line and the Y coordinates. And the Y is the line that's going down, which is the horizontal. So if you can have a look in here, um, the X and the Y coordinates right in the middle of the screen is zero and zero. So with this particular go to X, Y block, if I just go zero and zero there, and click onto this uh, block to test, my cat sprite will actually go right in the middle, which is X coordinate zero and Y coordinate um, zero. If I want my sprite to move into this particular position, you can see here that this particular X and Y coordinate has already changed the coordinate numbers for me. So it's saying that this particular position here means it's X coordinate negative 103 and Y is negative 101. So when you have a look at the X coordinates or the X axis going across, you can see that this side, it's the negative and with the Y coordinates, the top is positive, And when it goes below the X coordinate, it's negative. And so that's why I've got a X of negative 103 and a Y of um, negative 101. So let me click onto this X equals zero and Y equals zero. And then I'll click on to go to my X coordinates and my Y coordinates. And there you go. So that's how you can um, look at the different positioning of your characters um, when you're creating a, a game or a story or a certain project in Scratch. All right, so I'll move that aside for the moment and I'll move this one up here. Let's have a look at this particular move 10 steps. So what this does is basically what it's saying it will do. It will actually move 10 steps. So let me click onto that. So that's 10 steps there. It's every time I click onto this, it's moving 10 steps. I can change this from 10 to five and you can see what happens after that. Okay, so it's taking five steps instead of 10 steps now. What I want this to do is I can actually look at my repeat block and um, click onto that and see what happens. So it's repeating the moved five steps 10 times. If I change the 10 to the 20, let's have a look at what happens. There you go. So it's repeating the move five steps 20 times now. Now I want to be able to move my cat's bright around the screen. So I may have a look at my turn left block. So if I click onto this where it's got turn left 15 degrees, let's just see what happens. And there you go. It's turned left ways towards the left 15 degrees by 15 degrees. Um, and if I click onto my little eye icon here, I can actually set the rotation or the direction of my cat sprite back to its original, which is sitting at 90 degrees. So let's say, let's change that 15 degrees to 90 degrees and we'll snap that one in there. 
and what I want to do is go back into my control, grab my repeat block again and snap it around so all my scripts are inside my other repeat block and we'll say let's repeat that four times and then let's click onto this and see what happens. Oh, there you go. So it looks like it's moving across, up, across and then back down again. So it's repeating the move five steps 20 times, then it turns left 90 degrees and then it repeats this whole motion again four times. So now let me snap this go to block on top of my repeat block and then click onto that to test. There you go. So now what I'm saying is go to my X position and my Y position, which is X equals negative 103 and Y equals negative 101, which is this position here. Then I want you to move five steps, repeat the movement of the five steps 20 times, then turn left by 90 degrees and repeat this whole action four times. Now I may want to actually add an event block. So I could say to start this game or to start this project, um, I want to be able to click onto the green flag and I want this particular step to occur. So let's click onto that. And there you have it. So that's how you can use some of the motion blocks to get your characters to move around your backdrop or your screen. Now let's actually change this backdrop um, to something a little bit more interesting. And I may want to go into a space backdrop and we'll go okay to that. And there you have it. So let me just click onto my green flag. And there you go. Hope you have fun playing around with your motion blocks.